Hey, welcome to the best video you're probably ever gonna see on you. Well, probably the best video you're ever gonna see. I was gonna say on YouTube, but it's probably better than anything you ever fucking watched in your life. So welcome. You you are welcome for me making this greatness for you. I am 100% sober. Like you know people that are sober, but I'm like so many levels above that in my sobriety. This is facts by Tom McDonald. Featuring Ben Chaperone. And I always... I think it's, you know, it's tough to be a chaperone. You gotta look after people and you're probably going on a trip you don't want to be on. And now, chaperone is going to mix it up. I guess. Facts. That's a dramatic pause, man. I'm dramatically pausing. Shit. I'm excited. Ooh. Ooh. I just went grocery shopping. I bought a bunch of sweet potatoes. <laughs> sweet potatoes are the shit. Let's go. He's actually pretty racist. He has to be, he's white. Wow, he nailed it. I'm not... I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth, son. <laughs> BLM and rainbow flags instead of American flags. I I don't know. I don't even know what your opinion is. Those are good. That's good. That's a good thing to say. Cuz you're going to make half the world fucking hate you. He don't sell drugs? Dude, hold on. What is that picture? Give me a second. And right there. You always wonder like where your TVs go when you recycle them. He apparently got all of them. They're all like 100 pounds, CRT, curved tube. Do you remember back when TVs were proud of being voluptuous and not being skinny? Shout out TVs. He's the man that don't respect. I assume he's gonna say you. We didn't hear the last of the line. Uh, I was redigging through the Matrix, and Tom actually reminds me in Matrix, I think two, of those twins that like disappear across the uh, the freeway scene and like reappear in cars, which I think is a compliment. That's a compliment. Stop judging. You're judging so hard right now. Just, just you know. Take your shit. Take your shit. The shit you want to take. Take it. Let's get back to the story. Bro, is that actually Ben? His delivery is good. You gotta write a rhyme, but you also have to like deliver it. Deliveries. 
Delivery's pretty good. I do, I know this is probably the worst line for me to have a problem with, but when he goes, we're not selling drugs, we don't overdose. Those are not connected. You can sell drugs without overdosing, and you can overdose without selling drugs. Out of everything he said, that's actually the line I take, take offense with. You can sell drugs and not do drugs. You can do drugs and not sell drugs. I just think that's a, we don't sell, we don't overdose. I don't think that shit's really connected. Maybe it's a downward shot at people that sell and use their own supply. Shout out Biggie. Yeah, if you sell and you do your own shit, you might uh, overdose because you got so much around you. That part seems sketchy. Everything else is uh, facts. I got their faces. I do like I'm the man. Because it's also a shout out to the old school song, I'm the man, I'm the man. It also works with the pronouns. Who am I? I'm the man. That's not about pronouns. He's just tying it together in a clever way. Who am I? I'm the man. But the man could be the police. The man could be the government. The man could be the person that you can't fuck with. There's a lot of interpretations of the man. But all of them are typically enforcers of something. I'm the man. I am the enforcer of fill in the blank. <laughs> that's that's good. I'm I, I'm laughing because of the whole I will offend you. I'm like, well, I'm also. I mean, I'm no Tom McDonald. I am no superstar. I am no, I am no one of interest. But I definitely offend motherfuckers all the time. But it's just because I just say something that they don't like. But I think it gets kind of. I don't know what the word is. Like you're mixing your own sauce with. Uh, when you before you say something that pisses people off, you tell them that you don't care if you offend them. I think that's a little weird. Just say your offensive shit. You don't have to say I don't care if I don't offend you. They already know because they hear you saying shit they don't like. I I do like I like Tom stuff. Tom, I love you, baby. I'm just joking with you. Now shit's over. Like woke culture and high interest rates. That shit's over. The Fed's gonna cut rates. The pendulum swings. It always swings, man. And when you're in the middle of one of those swings, it can be hard to see it. Once you've seen it swing a couple times, you understand it's always swinging. Super progressive. 
super conservative, super liberal, super this, high tax, low tax. It just constantly swings. I think they call that a plurality. I think is what they call it as plurality. That the idea of all these people doing all the things that they want to do. The different ideas and how those ideas affect voting, business creation, employee relationships. That's one of the ways America is fucking dope is that it swings. You gotta go back, man. Reagan goes to Bush Sr. goes to Clinton. What? Clinton, I'm gonna play saxophone and talk about getting high and what my boxes are on. Then it swings to George Bush. What? Bush again? Bush's son? What? We're lost. Oh my God. I can't believe it's Bush again. It swings to Obama. Obama, 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 got the first black president. Oh my God, we the, we, we, we the best, we the best, we so woke, we so woke. Swings to Trump. Swings to Biden. It just swings, man. It's scripted. It's scripted. It just swings. Where's it going? It's going where it wasn't. When? Two to eight years? Just swings. It's scripted, baby. Like the NFL, it's scripted. Oh. I'm so happy to be sober and watching this video with no adulterations, no libations, no ingestion of alcohol. I love watching this completely sober. That that H2O got me fucked up.